for coming to work for you. Keep your flag ahead. Dear Lord, thank you for the day and the opportunity to come again. Please be with our thoughts and our words and our actions. May it be for the betterment of our district. May every law that we do bring glory and honor to you. Please be with those that are that are responding to the storms and hurricanes in, in Florida and in Texas. And be with those that are that are impacted by those storms. And please be with all of those that have been impacted by 9-11 and all the first responders. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You will place the American flag for me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Into the Texas. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Appreciate all you guys being here today, especially the ones that lost supper. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to speak, right? Okay, we can move on. Okay, information items. First thing is accounts payable. Uh, I know we've all looked at it. If you have any questions or anything, uh, we we'll bring those up. <clears throat> Uh, if not, we'll go ahead and move on to the numbers. Basically, you know, each year, uh, the first 10 days, we always uh, turn in numbers. We have the principals turn in numbers to the central office so we can keep count of the numbers and all. And last year, like I kind of told you in an email, we had large, large numbers last year. So I really didn't expect them to be that large this year. But basically, uh, on day 10 last year, we were at 1,457, and day 10 this year, we're at 1,459. So uh, it didn't didn't really decrease uh, the amount we kind of thought it might. But, uh, so we're uh, really full enrollment, but things are going well at our campuses and uh, uh, at the ground running. So they're doing a great job as far as keeping the kids busy, and the kids are extremely busy at this point. And y'all know that by the different events that are going on. But uh, that's kind of the rundown on the numbers. Uh, you know, our, y'all probably already know too, our, our uh, smallest class is going to be our junior class right now with 91 students. Uh, of course, last year we had our senior class was 76 or so. But uh, the 91 is the smallest class that we have in, in the whole school district. So, uh, okay, the next thing I have on there is the TAS, the TAS uh, convention, October 6th through 8th. Everything is in order, ready to go, reservations done, every, everything is taken care of. Just if there is a change of plans, let us know uh, as soon as you can because there, there are days that they... Uh, do not provide refunds. So be sure if you have any change of plans to let either myself or Tracy know. And uh, I want to bring up the uh, Sabine ISD Education Foundation. I will hand out a uh, uh, paper here that basically is going to be the first major fundraiser for the Education Foundation. And it is October the 14th, and uh, it will be uh, an event that will have auctions, live auctions, and we'll have silent auctions, I think. It'll be a steak dinner, uh, live music. Uh, he's, he's got one here. Anybody else out there want to look at one? Sure. Uh, and so this will be be held. I don't know if there's a name of it or not. Do we have a name for that? Forby Ranch. What? Do we have a name of the place? Forby Farms. Forby Farms. Okay. Forby Farms. So, uh, and it has the price on there uh, where you can, if you want to sponsor a table or if you want to go as a couple or an individual. So uh, it will be, again, it will be the first fundraiser for the uh, 
Sabine ISD Education Foundation, and, and that is going very well so far. I think we're, we are having a competition between the campuses. And if y'all know how that works, uh, you don't even have to say it. I know. I'm not even. No. No. Get started. Get <laughs> started. Say it. On what day did it start? Was it the Friday? You know, when it is distance. Yes, yes. I think it was this with the start guide. Okay, end. so when we run totals for for each campus on who's got the highest percentage, you know, just on day one, day two, and we follow it through. You know, on day one, high school comes in at 100% yeah. participation already. How does that happen? He's cheating. <laughs> I'm going to get $5 for everybody to make sure it's good for them. Yeah. $5. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm cheating, but it's really extremely competitive. It started before the start date. Well, yeah. yeah. That's kind of luck. But yeah, at, at this time, just from the campuses and, and this, this, uh, Contest ends the 20, what's my calendar, 25th or so of this month. So we have many days left for the other campuses to reach the 100%. And I have no doubt they will. Uh, so right now, the contributions or the uh, donations are up to $11,562 for wow. what we have so far. So so the competition will continue until we're all 100%, hopefully. Uh, but congratulations to the high school being the first to reach 100% in the first few hours. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. I heard about his announcements. <laughs> uh, anyway, but if you would, uh, these, these are going to be circulated. Uh, I know it's going to be on our website. Tony just took a picture, so it's going to be on social media big time. So uh, be sure and invite people out to that because it's a very, very good. And I, I put on my post that it is limited seating. I don't know how many, but we were talking. There's only you can only fit 200, 200 and a quarter people in there. So if you want to go, you need to make because it's steak dinner, dancing, live music, live band. It's a fun night out for 60 bucks for a couple. But there's only about two, two and a quarter seats. So if you want to go, you need to get signed up. So anybody you talk to, just let them know. Don't wait. For the official record, uh -huh. I won't be there that night because I have to go to the parents' seat. Right. 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 But I'm very upset that I'm not getting the show because I was pretty excited about it. Oh, it's going to be a fun day. He may not. That's what he said. But they can make donations, right? I mean, yes. we can donate that. Yes. Yes. Sounds good. Yes, the donations are accepted for the day. No doubt about it. And they're extremely good band. Extremely good band. Very, very talented. Okay, and uh, that brings us to consent items. Is anything somebody want to pull out of consent items when we do it as a group? Okay, have to pull it out. Can I get a motion to approve consent items as issued? Got a motion, Dan? Get a second. Paul. All in favor? Any, 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 any conversation, discussions? Okay. All in favor? Unanimous. All right. Discussion. Okay. For uh, the discussion item, I have in the packet uh, our school safety and security audit. Uh, uh, most or some of you know this already that we are required to do this audit every three years uh, in the district and uh, that is something that definitely is for the safety of our kids our staff uh, and you can see in there who is on this safety audit team of course to when we first developed this we also had outside people come in to help develop it and what you do not see uh, in this in your board packet is the criteria that's used to do this audit because you don't just walk through and say oh that looks good that looks good because there are many different areas uh, uh, that you that we have to grade ourselves on as far as the safety audit is concerned and 
in, in that, you know, of course, is fire drills, um, you know, catastrophic drills of, of all kinds, and, and you keep record of them and that kind of thing when you do all the drills. But uh, anyway, there are, after the audit, you always want to have the things in there that, that graded out very well, and then you always want to try to improve. And in, in this uh, audit that, that you see, there are, we put some, or the team put some recommendations in there to try to help us improve on what we have. So this is sent in to the state. Uh, this is not something that we just put in the filing cabinet, that's all there is to it. So it is something that's sent in to the state. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, again, at the, new, at the new elementary campus, that of course scores out very well on the safety issues out there with with the system that's out there but one thing here that in our older buildings it's always something that we want to try to get better and better at is making sure all of the outside doors are locked and uh, our SRO now certainly does that and you know, we're really pleased with, with that situation but uh, Anyway, our uh, campuses do a good job, teachers do a good job in, in making sure that that emergency plan is up to date and everybody knows what's, what's involved in it. So, um, this is something that the board doesn't take action on. We just report to the board that it is being completed and sent to the state. Okay, so action item 8A. Okay, the... Uh, Region 7 purchasing co-op each year. This is this is done by the board. Uh, the, we're a member of Region 7's purchasing co-op, and they do all the bidding, uh, accepting bids and all the, the bids and all that from different vendors, so that uh, school districts can uh, use Region 7 uh, as a vending source, and they've already gone through the process of. So this is simply a resolution for us to join with Region 7 as we do each year to be a member of the purchasing co-op so that we can get better pricing on items throughout the year. And it cost us all of $1,123.50. Yeah. 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 It's, it's an easy answer. It's, the math works. Yeah. Sir? Yeah. 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 yes. Correct. Correct. So it would be uh, my recommendation to approve the resolution with Region 7 with the, uh, for the purchasing co-op. Right. Any motion? I think it's second. Dr. Morchat, any discussion? All in favor? Unanimous? A B. Okay. The, the last one is something that uh, I know that y'all know we've been working on for quite a while. We, if you'll recall at our previous meetings, we talked about um, going out for bids for the demolition of the elementary school. We did that, we advertised, we went out for bids, and we actually, uh, by deadline date, we had 13 companies that bid on the particular job that, that we're looking at. So after, after the bids were in and closed, uh, we have a scoring sheet that is, is used for those different companies in scoring their proposals. And we, Kevin and I, and we asked Paul to be uh, in on it too since he has experience with this stuff, uh, which was helpful by the way, Paul, thank you. Uh, but uh, anyway, we scored these different companies uh, for the uh, demolition of the old elementary school over there. And those ranged from 367,000 to 150,000. Uh, but after the scoring, there's one, one company that came out on top with our scoring. Uh, and then the reference checks were extremely good. Uh, but uh, that company is Bar G. Uh, this company also, in fact, did some uh, did the uh, Kilgore uh, demolition over there. Uh, outstanding references, uh, and you know, I don't know, Paul, if there's anything 
you want to add or no, they were the third lowest bid too. They were in the 160 ish. Right, they were out of, the, out of the 150 to 300 something. They were in the 160. Right, they they were not the lowest bid. Yeah. Uh, but they're a lot closer than 300. Yeah, <laughs> their, their bid came in at 165. So uh, and like I say, the, we had a top bid of 367,000. Right at 368. Uh, so anyway, that's that's. Uh, after all of that homework and all that stuff that we went through and, and worked on, Bar-G is the company that uh, we think should be awarded the contract to uh, demolish the old element. Okay. That's your recommendation? That's my recommendation. Uh, we'll get a motion. Dan, you get a second. Dr. Morchad, okay, discussion? Uh, I've got some questions. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, when we first started talking about this, ERI said, I remember a figure of 750000 <laughs> That was, yeah, that estimate. Yeah. That, that, that was a wild estimate. <laughs> but, but also that was the abatement and the yeah. demo. Okay. Uh, we, we've already spent. Okay. Yeah, we've already done we that. Just we went to competitive bid for the abatement. Okay. We did that, and it was a whole lot less. Yeah, that was a big, big, big number. Okay, so then my question is, it, has anybody on the board done business with these people? No reason to have any reason to do business with them. I have, yeah. But they are, are something they are local. They have to fill out to yes. that form, and they're packing every one of them have to fill out. So, did they have anything to do with anybody? You say that they did uh, a demolition for Kilgore? It was Elder. It was Senator Elder. Elder. Yes. It ended up, it was, uh, you know, that was the, the building that uh, Kilgore ISD had, I believe, and Kilgore College. They got it from Kil uh, Kilgore College, got it from them. And then the the company that had that whole project subbed it out to this group, the demo. Part of the scoring sheet was looking at their references, whether or not they're owned and operated in the state of Texas. Not because we have one company that's out of state, primarily in Alabama. Alabama. That that had some value to it. Their references. Um, I'm trying to remember the other things. Well, their bond insurance. Bonds, insurance. You got to look at all that stuff and make sure that part's good. And then if they've had any problems with any bonds. By uh, the time it scored out there, this this one was 165. The next one was 163. Going down. Yeah, going down. Yeah, going down. I guess so. It was only like fifteen hundred dollars difference between him and the lowest. The lowest one, the hundred fifty thousand, was kicked out for some other reasons. They had other issues. I know that I'm going with that. Yeah. The next closest one was one sixty three. I think it was fifteen hundred dollars difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. You see those but they were also based out of Alabama, and I don't remember. We didn't use local references. If you want, I mean, obviously that's public. You can look at it if you want to. Well, I don't think it's public, but it's something you can look at. <laughs> yeah, Paul, you you mentioned something there local, as in what is that? Texas. Oh, yeah, okay. Texas, yeah. Texas, maybe even right. Uh, yeah, they're out of East Texas. They're out. Of Okay, so yeah, they're even out of line. Uh, Chaplin is what I saw. The man's name's Gatlin. If I got the right person. I didn't even look at that part. I've tried to hear it. One thing that concerned me is I talked to people in the business and they knew nothing about this Bar G, but. Bar G is a relatively uh, new company, as in three years old, getting, you know, getting into this realm of it, but they've done quite a bit of demo work. So, in fact, ERI, if you remember Mr. Snodgrass, ERI uh, has used this, as one of the references, you know, has used them, and he's extremely uh, impressed with them. So, uh, you know, I, I think it would be a good situation. Yes, Mr. And I earlier uh, asked you, is part of the scope of their work besides Demolition and haul off. I'm assuming 
what are they doing grading soccer field? Get it ready for just for any future <laughs> they don't they don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> As level as that baseball field, they're building. Well, they're going to get it back to an air. They're going to get it back to a grade where it will drain. Okay. And then whatever our future plans will be, will be the final grade. So, okay. Yeah. And and looking at the the RFQ that we put out, it has all that spelled out in there, and we can get you a copy of that, so you can see exactly what they're expected to do, and that's what they go by when they turn in a bid. Okay. We we had a pre bid meeting with them. At the, at the site. One of the things, you know, we had asked to, I guess, to form a committee for uh, facilities, mm -hmm. and hopefully as part of that, maybe we'll look at what we're going to, our next step may be able to mm -hmm. be. If you remember a meeting ago or so, when we talked about having a meeting, we scheduled with all the principals from all the campuses for us to all sit down and have a conversation regarding what you're doing. No. The emails have gone out. The final dates have not been set. <coughs> the principals to sit down and talk to us. Yes. It's to pending. say, what would you like? What, what do you need in your campus? And that, that needs assessment that we're doing right now will help us determine next. That means they get it. This means we're looking at it. I did volunteer. I guess Rusty's not going to be on that committee anymore. To be on the committee, I didn't volunteer at that time. I told him I wouldn't do it. So if that's still the case. If we were very proud. I asked him if he was coming tonight because I was going to talk to him. He said he couldn't make it. So that will be my next after that I'll talk to him. Okay. Any more discussion regarding this topic? All right. Here we go. Motion and second. All in favor? Unanimous. Get motion for adjourn. Dan, second. Paul, Patty, Dr. Morgan. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is at 52. <laughs> 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 <laughs>